something strange is lurking in the waters of Hamilton. It's an alligator that was seen yesterday, I think, out here. This is the picture causing all the commotion. Snapped at the pond in Confederation Park, it appears to show some sort of reptile enjoying a leisurely swim. Well, the only way something like that would get in here if someone released it. And sadly enough, a lot of people do not, are not responsible with their exotic pets, and they do release them. If there really is a croc or gator, it's only estimated to be about three feet long. So the main concern is not for humans, but rather for the reptile itself. It needs to have warmth. It needs to bask itself in the sun. It's an ectothermic species, meaning that it needs an environment and the warmth of the earth to warm itself up. Um, it sh should be okay, although stressed. It should survive. An extensive search on Tuesday turned up no results, leading some to compare this creature to the Loch Ness Monster or BC's Ogopogo. Well, this is probably the second best tourist attraction after the Tiger Cats. I think if they search, they didn't find anything. Maybe it's just not there. <laughs> but you're keeping up hope. Yeah. Still want to see if it's there. Still want to see it from my eyes. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> The sighting has locals finding inspiration for both this guy Michael J. Crocodile Dundee and of course the real crocodile hunter. Oh, crikey, he's coming out of the water. <laughs> Here, gator gator. Here, gator gator. Using my gift of stealth and decked out in my best hunting gear, even my extreme tracking skills proved to be of no help in finding the elusive creature. For now, officials have called off the search, saying that A, the gator is no longer in the area, or B, it never was in the first place. I'm not convinced, so I'm going to keep looking. Rob Black, Global News.